the sound of euphoria overwhelmed the streets of central Santiago. Tens of thousands of jubilant supporters of Gabriel Boric welcomed the impressive and hard-fought victory of the left-wing candidate who will become Chile's youngest ever president. I have the hope of a Chile with social justice, a Chile that's better for my daughter. The president-elect, a 35-year-old congressman and former student leader, literally had to jump over the crowds and climb over barriers to make it onto the stage, from where he delivered a conciliatory message to the country. Our government has the conviction to look forward at the challenges that we have before us. It cannot be just changed by talking to the mirror. I'm not here to only speak to people who think like me, to change the way people who think differently. We are here to ensure that once and for all there are courses sufficient for all Chileans and we can achieve a wonderful life. Earlier, Boric received a visit from his rival, conservative José Antonio Cast. Cast had conceded defeat just a little over an hour after the polls closed. As much as we can, with our legitimate differences, we want to continue contributing to our homeland. We must all once again unite all Chileans. Gabriel. Conservative President Sebastián Piñera, who also opposed Boric, rushed to make the traditional conciliatory phone call. For the first time in 40 years, there will be a president who will attempt to change Chile's free market economic model, which millions of Chileans believe is responsible for extreme social inequality in this country. The happiness that you see on everyone's faces here reflects the extraordinary expectations that they have placed in their new president-elect. But Boric faces a Congress which is split 50-50 between his supporters and his opponents, which means that he's going to have to make huge, huge concessions. And that begs the question, how long will this enthusiasm last? Boric acknowledged that he faces serious economic and political challenges. But for at least a short while, it was time to celebrate a victory that symbolizes a huge leap of faith by the people of Chile. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.